Hi, my friends. Happy rainy day. Does that make you want to sing? First one drop of rain hits the ground. Then another drop of rain hits the ground. Then another and another and another and another and pretty soon it's raining all around. Drip, drop, splash. Drip, drop, splash. Drip, drop, splash came the rain one day. I peeked out the window. I peeked out the door. It kept on raining, so I peeked once more. Drip, drop, splash. Drip, drop, splash. Drip, drop, splash came the rain one day. I almost feel like we should sing rain, rain, go away, but the rain is good for the plants. And it is springtime, so that's why there's lots of rain. Today, we're going to figure out and figure out what day it is and do some reviewing. Show me how many days in a week. You tell me when I've got it right. There we go, seven. Sing with me. There are seven days in a week, seven days in a week. Seven days in a week, and I can say them all. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday is the last day, and I can say them all. Okay, yesterday was Thursday. And tomorrow is Saturday. Put your thinking caps on. Oh, you guys are so smart. You're right, today is Friday. I bet you're all going to want to jump again. I'm using my swishers. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Today is Friday and our month is May and it is the 8th of May. The year is, do you remember? 2020. Let's put it all together. Today is Friday. May 8th, 2020. Now, we already did our days of the week. Let's see if we can remember the months of the year. I hope you're ready. Say, me, 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 me. Say, you, 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 you. Good job. Now you're ready. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November and December, 12 months in a year. Good job. Okay, there are seven days in a week, 12 months in a year, and how many seasons? You tell me when I've got it right. One, two, three, five? Oh, you thought I was going to say four, didn't you? No, not five. Four? That's right. Winter, do the sign for it, spring, summer, and fall. We often talk about which is our favorite. Spring is not acting like spring lately. It's been too cold, but sometimes Mother Nature gets a little bit crazy. Okay, sing with me. Spring is new life, spring is new life. Winter's gone, winter's gone. Baby chicks are peeping, caterpillars creeping. Spring is here, thank you God. Nice job, my friends. I just don't want you to forget all of our fun songs. Get your fuzzy caterpillar. He's one of the two things that goes through a metamorphosis. Do you remember what the other one is? That's right, a pollywog or a tadpole. Here's my leaf and here's my fuzzy caterpillar. The fuzzy caterpillar curled upon a leaf. She spun a little chrysalis and then she fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke, she was a butterfly. Good job. Thank you for singing with me today. I bet you can guess by the clue that's behind me 
what letter I'm going to talk to you about. That's right, you see him standing back there. It's the letter Z. And you remember I told you that in some countries they call it Z. Why do you think that my letter Z has stripes and a mane and an ear and an eye and a mouth? It's some sort of animal. Hmm. Not an animal that you would see wandering around here. Not even one that we would have for a pet. We might find him at the zoo. That's right. And he starts with the letter Z. Can you guys say zebra? Good job. I'm going to put Mr. Zebra back there. He's pretty easy to make. You just cut out a Z and some stripes. Z says Z. Z says Z. Z says Z. Z says Z. Every letter makes a sound. Every letter makes a sound. Z says Z. Z says Z. Now that is an easy sound to get confused with S. That's S. But Z is Z. Okay, let's have a look at some things I've done. I have cut some zigzags. Zigzags. They look a little bit like lightning, the way that people draw lightning. Now, if you look closely at this piece, it was cut with special scissors. My zigzag scissors. Look carefully at the edge and you can see that when I close it, it makes a zigzag pattern. Can you say a zigzag? Now, let's talk about some things that start with the letter Z. The first one is a long, looks like a big cucumber but it's a squash, and it's called a zucchini. Say it with me, zucchini. Okay, I'm pretty sure you'll guess what this one is. Z zipper, I'm zipping my zipper. Many of you have gotten really good at the jacket flip, and most of you can zip your own zipper. And that makes me really proud. You guys are growing up so nicely. Now, zebra starts with Z. And I happen to have another one here, in case you hadn't noticed. And yes, it is a paper plate with ears and a mane with eyes and a nose and some stripes. You could actually cut the eyes out so it could be a mask. Or you could just hold it up like this and masquerade as a zebra. How do I look? There's my zebra. There are a couple craft ideas for you. Okay, this is where we would find a zebra. Not Africa. No, he would be in a cage or in a fenced-in area with other wild animals that people walk by and admire. That means look at and say how wonderful they are. A zoo. Do you hear the letter Z? Zoo. Good job. Okay, we talked about zigzags. And that reminds me of a song that we sing too that has zigzag in it. And it's a song about a dog. And songs just can't wait. When you feel one coming on, you just need to let it go. You ready? I have a dog and his name is Rex. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag he goes, flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag he goes, flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag. 
I love rats and he loves me. Second verse, do you remember it? My dog Rags, he loves to play. He rolls around in the mud all day. I whistle. Oh, Emmanuel does that so much better than me. He won't obey. He always runs the other way. He goes flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag, he goes flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag, he goes flip flop, wiggle waggle. Zigzag, I love rags and he loves me. If you were able to sing along with that, I am very proud. Raise your hand high, turn it around backwards and give yourselves a pat on the back. Now one other Z thing I thought of is a most unusual name. It's a name of somebody in the Bible that was very short and he was not very nice. He stole money from people and people did not like him because he was not nice. One day, a crowd gathered and Jesus was coming down the road and this little guy, old Shorty we'll call him, ran to try to see him and nobody would get out of the way because they really didn't like him. He wasn't nice. So he climbed up a tree and he was looking and he got so excited and happy when he saw Jesus. And when Jesus came near, he looked up in the tree and he called him by name. Do you remember what his name is? Starts with a Z. There's your clue. Z, Z, Z. I'm pretty sure that Killian is. Yeah, and Baylor. And probably Drona. And certainly Emmanuel. His name was Zacchaeus. That is a crazy name. Say it with me. Zacchaeus. I think we better put that on all five fingers. Zacchaeus, 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 Zacchaeus. Well, he was up in the tree, and when Jesus came and looked at him, he said, come on down. I'd like to be your friend. What? Nobody liked him. But Jesus loves everybody, even cheaters and stealers. He likes everybody. But the really neat part about this story is Jesus went to his house and had a meal with Zacchaeus. And after he got to know Jesus, he realized that he was not a kind friend. And he asked Jesus to be his friend and to help him make good choices. And Jesus did, of course. He never said no when somebody wanted to be his friend because he loves everybody even loves people who are unkind, but he helps them to make good choices. I love that story. And the best part is, it's true. So, Zacchaeus, say it with me, Zacchaeus. Okay, say zucchini, zipper, zebra, zoo, Zacchaeus, and zigzag. Good job. Now, there's another surprise coming for you in the mail, and it should be getting to you within a couple of days, because we are now really done with the alphabet. Z is the last letter, and I want you to make a craft of alphabet soup. When I put my alphabet soup in the bowl, the letters lined up to say, I love DCP. That's our school, Damascus Community Preschool. And I especially love the kids in Mrs. Hicks and Mrs. G's class. They're my kids. So, you'll be getting a surprise in the mail. And you can make a craft with your surprise. I hope that you like getting mail because I sure like sending it to you. And I love when I get emails back with pictures in it. I got the most amazing card from my friend Riyanj. 
he did it in green because he knows that's my favorite color. And then he put some Hershey Kisses on it. Chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. One of my favorites for sure. Gotta love it. But I like milk chocolate the best. Okay, get your thinking caps on, smart kids. We're going to play a guessing game. I will give you clues. And you can guess what zoo animal I am talking about. Now, there are different kinds of animals, wild animals. They're often in the zoo or in the desert or in the forest or in, on, in other places like Africa or India. And there are domestic or tame animals, those we would find on a farm or even as a pet in our home. Not me, because they make me sneeze. But we're going to guess some zoo animals, so turn your listening ears on. Thank you. The first one is very large. In fact, he is enormous. His color is gray. He's quite wrinkly, and he has very big, floppy ears. The most unusual thing about this animal is it has a trunk. In fact, that is the sign for the animal. I know, I know, you already guessed it. That's because you're so smart. Okay, here's my next one. And this one is oviparous. That means it hatches out of an egg. And it is a kind of a bird that is tall. It has very long skinny legs, opposite of the elephant, who's our short and fat. This bird is pink, pink. And he has an unusual habit. He likes to stand on one leg. He must have good balance. Can you guess what it is? If you need another clue, he starts with the letter F. F flamingo. Good job. I love that you guys are such good guessers. Okay, let's do one more. This little guy has a long tail and he's a great climber. He loves to be up in the trees and swing back and forth. He likes to be silly and he likes bananas. That's right, a monkey. Oh boy, I think I feel a finger play calling on, coming on. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five minus one equals four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five minus two equals three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five minus one, two, three leaves two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. You're right. There's only one left, but he's a high jumper. He might go off screens if he gets so high. Hope he doesn't bump his head. You ready? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He flew off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, smart kids, how many monkeys are left? 
zero or the empty set. It's so much fun spending time with you. I noticed something behind me on the piano that you might be interested in. You guys know that I've told you I have three brothers. Let's see if I can get this closer. Okay. This is my youngest brother. His name is Jeff. We call him Uncle Jeff. This is my oldest brother. His name is Gary. And we call him Bubby. That's my middle brother. His name is Patrick. He is the one that was really hard to get along with sometimes. This is my sister, Gloria. This is me. And you guys know my first name is Connie. This is my mom and my dad. And that was taken on my dad's 80th birthday. That's pretty old. Can we count by tens to 80? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Wow. I'm amazed at how much you guys have learned and how you've grown up. I want you always to remember that you're fearfully and wonderfully made and that Mrs. Hicks and Mrs. Deese love you. Pray with me, please. Dear God, thank you for this day and that we can have fun even though we have to stay in our houses. Help us to use our imagination to make good choices and to be kind and to love you back. Amen. Bye, guys. I love you.